How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here. With Windows 11 coming up to being out for over two years at this point, most people have switched over or made the upgrade, which makes it great timing to be able to bring you guys the ultimate guide to clearing all cache with inside of Windows 11. Don't worry, if you are on Windows 10, many of the same settings will still apply as there isn't actually too many differences. So whether you've been utilizing Windows 11 for a few months or a few years at this point, it is definitely a recommendation of mine to jump in, clear all the cache with inside of Windows to ensure that you have the fastest operating system possible, that you remove excess and old data you are no longer using to free up storage space and overall just increase the efficiency and usability of your system. Stop paying full price for Windows today and get activated from as little as $16 using WhoKeys. Use the links in the description down below, choose from Windows 10, Windows 11 or Office Keys, add to checkout, use code PAN20 at checkout for an additional 25% off your order and to help support the channel, pay via a secure payment method including PayPal. Once purchased, your key will be available immediately, head over to activate Windows, paste the key, will then have access to all Windows features and no more watermark. The Windows 10 keys will also allow you to upgrade to Windows 11. Use the links in the description down below and a massive thanks to WhoKeys for sponsoring this video. So to jump straight into things, first of all, take yourself down to the Windows button, type in percent, T-E-M-P percent, and press enter. This folder contains all of the Windows temporary files and folders which your system may or may not be using. All the way from the top to the bottom, we're going to highlight and select everything. Alternatively, you can click one item, then press Control and A on your keyboard. Once everything has been highlighted, right click and select the bin icon, or just press delete on the keyboard. Select do this for all current items, then select continue. If anything is still remaining at that point, you can choose to skip those files as those will be the only files the system was actually using and everything else was just a temporary file sat in your system taking up space and resources. Next up, press the Windows key once again, this time type in run. Open the run application. With inside of run, we're going to be typing in T-E-M-P, then selecting OK. Select continue if you do get a pop-up. Once again, we're going to highlight and select any files and folders you may have with inside of it. You may have more than me or less. Once all highlighted, right click on the delete button or select delete on your keyboard. Exit out once again. Navigate down to your Windows button, search for run, open run. This time we're going to be typing in prefetch then select OK. Select continue if you do get a pop-up. The prefetch folder is a caching location for all common files or folders or application data for apps in which you commonly use. The only issue with this is, is sometimes you could have corrupted files with inside of here or have caching data for applications you no longer use in your system or potentially even have installed. This caching data is built up extremely quickly, so don't panic about slowing down applications you currently use. You won't notice this and the caching data for the apps you use will be rebuilt immediately. And this is just an easy way to fix potential issues you could be experiencing. Once again, all the way from the top down to the bottom. This folder will more than likely be quite large. Right click on all files, then select delete, or again, press the delete key. Any pop-ups which come up with inside of this page, we're going to select do this for all current items and hit skip. You will more than likely be left with a few files with inside of here. If you're not, don't panic, that's completely okay. Whether you've upgraded over to Windows 11 recently or have applied any Windows 11 updates, you've more than likely got excess old update files sat in storage, which you no longer need. To remove these files from the system, navigate down to your file explorer on the the taskbar. On the left hand side, go down to this PC. Go to local disk C drive, scroll down to the Windows folder, scroll down once again, you're going to be looking for software distribution. Double click, go inside of download. All folders and files within inside of the downloads folder can be removed from the system as they are old update files your system no longer needs and has used. Go all the way from the top down to the bottom, right click, select delete. If you do get a pop up with inside of this folder, select do this for all current items, then hit continue. Once completed, go ahead and exit out. For the next step, we're going to be navigating down to the Windows file explorer once again. Does not matter which folder you're inside of, we're going to be navigating up towards the top to the three dots. Then select show more, then select options. Under folder options, go to general. With inside of here, go down towards the bottom to privacy. We're then going to select the option to clear file explorer history at the bottom. Seeming that we're inside of the folder options, you could also apply a really useful tweak to Windows to be able to see file extensions so you can get a better understanding of what file extensions are and what file type certain items are. This is also a really easy way to see any malicious files in your system that may be posing as alternative file types than what they say they actually are. Navigate with inside of view at the top, then go down to the option for show hidden files, folders, and drives. Then go down to apply. I would then also recommend unselecting the option to hide extensions for known file types. This will mean that from now on, you may see .exe on the end of certain file types or .jpeg or .png, but it allows you to be able to see what those file types are and could potentially make your experience with inside of Windows a little bit safer. And if it's not for you, you can always jump back into this option and just re-enable it. Go down to the bottom to apply and okay. We can now make use of the Windows disk cleanup utility, which is super handy to be able to remove caching files, data, and other excess rubbish on your system. Navigate down to the Windows button, search for disk space cleanup. 
Then open up the Disk Cleanup application. You'll have to select the drive you wish to target for the cleanup. We're always going to be choosing the Local Disk C option. Then select OK. Once inside of it, before we do anything, navigate down to Clean Up System Files, select Local Disk C, and OK once again. Once that's completed, you'll then be given a full rundown of selectable options you can then remove from your system, of which most are going to be recommended. You may have more or less options on your system, but for the most part, we're more than likely going to be selecting all of these unless anything within inside of this section does stand out to you that you want to keep. A massive one for me, as you can see, is my previous Windows installation, which is still listed with inside of here. That will free up nearly 12 gigabytes alone. Next up, if you're having experience with slow web browsing, sites not loading correctly, or just general speed issues, a really quick and easy way to potentially fix those issues and have a faster web browsing experience, regardless of the browser you use, is to navigate down to the Windows button, type in CMD, right click on Command Prompt, and choose to run this as an administrator, then select Yes. Simply type in ipconfig space slash flush dns if you're afraid about mistyping this or it's not working correctly you can find this to be able to copy and paste it from the description down below then press enter after a few short seconds you should be met with this message letting you know that this has successfully been completed then go to the top right and exit out if you're someone that uses the microsoft store or has applications installed through the microsoft store you may wish to clear the cache with inside of it to ensure that you are receiving updates properly or just to speed up the store in general navigate down to the bottom once again type in cmd right click on command prompt and run this as an administrator select yes we need to start off with capitals at this point and type in ws reset exe press enter after a few short moments the microsoft store should automatically open itself and if it does that means that the optimization has been successfully applied exit out of the windows store and the command prompt clearing your browser cache is a fantastic way to get a better experience with inside of the web browser and potentially speed it up whether you are on microsoft edge chrome firefox opera whatever it is that you're using the steps are basically the same inside of your web browser go to the top right hand side where you'll be able to find three lines or three dots with inside of the settings navigate down to you find options or settings for those of you utilizing Microsoft Edge, on the left hand side, go down to Privacy, Search and Services. You may wish to change the tracking prevention settings with inside of Microsoft Edge at this point, if they better suit your needs, but the option we're interested in is to scroll down to Clear Browsing Data. Navigate down to Choose What to Clear. You can then select the time period which applies to your personal preference. I'm going to be selecting All Time. I'm going to be clearing my browsing history, my download history, I'm going to be keeping my cookies, and I'm going to be deleting the cached images and files. If you are signed in on multiple websites and like the fact that you can jump to those websites and you're already signed in you do not want to remove any cookies or sign in data so make sure that you unselect those options if you do wish to keep that functionality once you've selected the options which match for your system go down to the bottom to clear now and that's it completed go to the top right and exit out for those of you utilizing a relatively decent pc that may have its own dedicated gpu whether you're a hardcore gamer or just do a slight bit of gaming on the side it's definitely recommended to clear your gpu cache and shader cache this can help remove excess old files which are stored in your system for games you may not play any longer games which have received multiple updates, older shader caches which could be updated with newer files for better performance, or to potentially fix any issues you're experiencing. First up, for those of you on NVIDIA graphics cards, whether they be high-end, low-end, laptop, desktop, it does not matter, navigate down to the file explorer at the bottom. At the top, go to the navigation bar and double click in the blank space so you can edit this. We're then going to type in percent local app data percent then press enter inside of this folder scroll down to the n section we're going to be going inside of just nvidia go inside of this folder highlight and select any and all folders and files with inside of here and delete them that's only going to be for OpenGL games or applications now to jump into the dx or directx cache which is where most of your games cache is going to be we need to navigate back up to the directory bar at the top and go back a few folders do this by selecting app data at the top we then need to go inside of local low, then go down to the NVIDIA folder with inside of here, per driver version, and DX cache. Once again, highlight any and all files and folders with inside of the DX cache folder, then either right click or select delete. If you're prompted, select OK, right click and select delete once again. If you're met with a pop-up because this can't be completed, that's completely fine. Select do this for all current items, then select skip. The only files or folders remaining with inside of it are the only ones your system was actually using. Remember, next time you boot into one of your favorite games, it could stutter for five to 10 minutes whilst it rebuilds the shader cache. For those of you on AMD Radeon GPUs, right click on your desktop, open up the AMD software panel. Once inside of it, go to the gaming tab at the top, then navigate over to graphics. Scroll all the way down towards the bottom to advanced, scroll all the way down to the bottom 
them once again, but you'll then be able to find Reset Shader Cache. Once you click this, the Shader Cache will then be fully reset. I would then recommend restarting your PC. If you've gone with one of the options to clear out your Shader Cache for your GPUs, it more than likely means that you do some gaming and you may have Steam installed to your PC. If you do have Steam, you can actually clear some cache with inside of Steam to boost download speeds and potentially make the application faster. Navigate to the top left hand side to the Steam logo, then go down to Settings. Inside of this section, we're going to navigate down to Downloads. Go down towards the bottom once again to Clear Download Cache. Before you click Confirm, please do be aware that you will be signed out of your Steam account and have to sign in again, so make sure that you can do that before clicking this button. To speed up your overall system and to stop it automatically distributing update files your PC may have but other PCs on your network don't have, you can easily turn this functionality off or back on if you would like to just try it out by navigating down to the bottom and searching for Delivery. Then select the Delivery Optimization Settings. You can easily turn this off by navigating over to the Allow Downloads from other PCs and switching this to off. If you would like to enable this functionality again at any time, just navigate over and select it back on. Next up is a really handy, relatively new tool to Windows, which you may not be familiar with, which is Storage Sense. This is a fantastic tool in which I would definitely recommend everyone watching this video at least tries out and see what's available with inside of it. Navigate down to the bottom, search for Storage Space Sense, then select Turn On Storage Sense or Storage Sense Settings. First of all, at the top, it will give you a rundown of installed application sizes, programs, temporary files, and give you a general idea of where most of your storage space is being taken up from. This is a really handy tool to be able to free up some storage space or remove older files from your system, as you can just jump into the different sections. You can sort by which programs are taking up the most space by going from large to small, and you can just see a ton of stuff which is installed to your system that you may no longer even wish to use. For instance, I no longer play Forza Motorsport at the minute, I don't need it on this system, and it's taking up 124 gig of space. Go to the right hand side to the three dots to the application or game you wish to uninstall and just select uninstall. Don't do this for applications that you're not entirely sure what they are. If they look important they more than likely are so only do this for things in which you know you no longer need or use. First thing we're going to do is navigate down to the temporary files section, select recycling bin at the top. It will then give you a rundown of how much space you're about to free up in your system. You can also personalize the choices you're about to make with inside of the temporary files section by selecting or deselecting certain options with inside of here. I'm going to be selecting all of them for my system but you may wish to go with different Different options. Go up to the top to remove files, then select continue. Once that's completed, go back up to the storage option at the top to go back to storage sense. I would highly recommend utilizing storage sense at all times by ensuring this has been switched to on to give you a better overall experience with inside of Windows. Before we close out of this video, one last recommendation I have for every single person watching, whether you're using an NVMe SSD, SATA SSD, or a hard drive on your system, all storage devices see drastic speed drop off the more full they become. I have about 16% remaining on my local disk C drive, which could mean that I'm running into drastic slowdowns on that drive. For best practice to ensure that your system remains snappy, responsive, and more efficient is to ensure that you are utilizing the least amount of storage space, especially on your local disk C drive as possible. Only keep files that you need in your system, and if you'd like more guidance on what you should remove on your system or how to free up tons of extra storage space from places you may not even know exist on your system, just hogging up resources, I would definitely recommend checking out the clear storage video on screen now, which you can find linked in the description down below. Clearing up your system cache can only take you so far, and overall performance issues will not be fixed if you are sat there with a drive which is completely full. Let me know of your results in that comment section down below, or happen to have any tips or tricks you would like to share in that comment section down below. If you're looking for further optimizations or system how-tos, check out the playlist section in the description down below, or if you're not sure where to go next, check out one of the two videos on screen, and I'll see you guys over there.